This is the last Reddit video of the year. We've come so far. <laughs> Before this one, we did eight Reddit videos and holy crap, man. Like, I keep saying this. I can't believe this is actually still going on. Like, how cool is that? The, the, our Reddit is absolutely popping. Absolutely love the idea that you guys have a little platform to post something with. Like, even I post there a lot of the times. <laughs> and then it becomes a video at the end of the month and we can just all enjoy and reflect on everything. And, like, how good is that, yo? <laughs> like, seriously, thank you to everyone who posts on r slash King Aurelius. It's absolutely amazing. I... I have a blast always looking to it. I have a blast making these videos and everything. So, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for posting on the Reddit all year. Thank you guys for an amazing 2022. Bro, 2022 has been absolutely amazing. Let's be real. <laughs> I feel like we've all been through so much together. And I feel like we've all grown together a lot as well. So, I really want to say a big thank you to everyone before I actually get into this month's Reddit. Yeah, bro, th this is... It's December. What in the world? But from the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for this entire year. Thank you guys so much for the, all the support you show me. Thank you guys so much just for being present. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Couldn't have asked to be a part of a better community. Thank you so much. For this month's Reddit, I want to do something a little different. So we'll go through everything that happened this month on Reddit as well. And I want to do a little final review of the entire year's Reddit. So top posts of the year not just this month. So, now you know the go, so without any further ado, let's get started. So, for one last time, r slash King Aurelius. Again, this is going to be the last episode altogether, so if you have anything to post on the Reddit, if you have anything you want to share with me or the community, make sure you go post it on the Reddit, r slash King Aurelius. If you don't have a Reddit, consider making one. Top post for the month, we're back with Dainey, let's go. Your favorite Sinrose sweat is back. <laughs> Oh, bro, Dainey, kill him. Kill him. You want to know what I love? Dainey, you proved a point right over here. Like, right over here. You proved a point. You killed the other Cinderace. Like, bro, who, who is the better Cinderace here? Dainey, good job. GG's. Big GG's, Dainey. <laughs> Honestly, Dainey, I don't know how you're not in Masters yet with this game. Like, bro. Festive photography. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love the colors and everything. Ooh, candle. This would make an amazing desktop background. Brittany, legit. Think about taking up photography. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Love it. Ooh, that's also really pretty. Absolutely love it. This is. Why does this look like a planet? I feel like. I, I feel like you can actually like somehow make this earth or something and have it juxtaposed to the background. That would be so cool. That would actually be so cool. Like, I'll tell you why I think this is obviously because blue and round makes me feel like earth. And then it's just like this light over here seems like it's the sun or something. Like it just gives you that vibe that this is an entire planet within a, who knows, like a weird galaxy or something. Love this picture. Absolutely love it. You know what? I'll give this an award. I feel like this deserves an award. I will give this... What awards are there? Hmm. Ooh. This sounds masterpiece award. Let's go. Cess Magnifique. Sup? I'm actually alive. Jade! A. Go to horny jail. Bonk. Wait, what? Is she supposed to make me horny? I drew this yesterday because of the news. Oh, that's right. Look, as bittersweet as it is that Ash is going to be completing his journey in Pokemon, let's be real, as soon as he became the champion, I feel like we knew. I thought this was going to happen a while ago when he became a champion in that other region, but good job, Ash. Good job. I'm really proud of it. I believe it's going to be like an 11 episode finale or ending or something with the original crew, and... I'll be real, this is going to be the first time I'm going to watch the Pokemon anime in such a long time. Like, like the main anime, not like those spin-off things like Twilight Wings and stuff, which is actually really good. Also, I kind of for some reason feel like they're working on Pokemon Cinematic Universe or something. Like, quote this, after Gen 10, they're not going to focus on games anymore. They're going to be focusing on making movies. Casting directors, Brock is right here. Just call me up. But nice, I hope Ash gets a good end to his journey. I feel like he really deserves that. I know that a lot of animes actually have very poor endings, so I hope they worked on this ending really well. A for Brittany, most played this year, Stardew Valley. Obviously, that's not a surprise. You're obsessed with Stardew Valley. 
and then Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then Scarlet and Violet. <sighs> Look, I'll say this much. I've hated on Scarlet and Violet enough, but here's the thing. I know a lot of people still enjoy that game. <laughs> With Scarlet and Violet, I see a lot of people still play it and enjoy it, and when I see that, Trust me, I've really tried. When I see some of my favorite streamers play Scarlet and Violet, I want to go into the game myself and I want to try to play it as well. I try to mimic the things that they're doing, whether it be sandwiches, whether it be trying to get a good team together for like VGC and stuff. I really tried, but whenever I start the game, I just, I don't get immersed into it. Weirdly enough, I started playing Legends Arceus again, like in my own time, and I wish I had the same experience that everyone else was having with Scarlet and Violet, but I'm not. And this is my Switch rap, so Legends Arceus, I played that the most, that makes a lot of sense. I spent over 200 hours playing Legends Arceus this year. Then Minecraft, then Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I have a couple of more pictures. Uh, played right after release, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, Let's just not talk about that. Frog Island is alright. I think it's a cute game. Played for three or more years. Minecraft, Pokemon Shield, Mario Kart. I feel like there's no surprises there. Really good games for longevity. And favorite game, Breakdown. Adventure at 37%, action at 30%. That makes a lot of sense to me. Is that ass on the mini tonight? Not my ass. Crunchy! Is it just me or like, is it everyone else that just loves to watch cats eat? I, I don't know what it is. It's just... I, don't, I find it so cute watching cats eat. Is it just me? Please don't, it's not just me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let me explain this. Let me explain what's going on over here. So what happened was, Brittany from the Poké Duo and I were talking about like, what if we can open up like a nightclub or something? And then I said, this is something that I've actually considered doing if I had the money for it and whatnot. And like, and I will say something along the lines of, don't even get me started. If you want to make a business with me, I will actually take it seriously and I will look into it and I will try to make the business because making a business is something that I've always wanted to do. But then she starts to talk about nightclubs and everything because I feel like we were talking about going clubbing and like partying and everything when we were a little younger or even like nowadays. But what happened was we were just talking about this going back and forth and like how we would run a club and where it would happen and like all the things that we would do and all that and then she just pops up with this <laughs> i don't hate it i don't hate this like genuinely this looks so cool aurelius kingdom nightclub i would 100 percent go to this like bloody oath bro let's go let's start up a nightclub who's who's coming aurelius steelix edit I think this was even, uh, th this this made her last month as well. This was here last month, we, we watched this and then we get these Steelix picks. Let's go, let's go, Steelix. I was talking to some of my friends about this, I was talking about if I would ever get a tattoo, what tattoos would I get, and like, I may or may not get a tattoo someday, I have conditions with myself on when I would get a tattoo, but if I ever get tattoos, I have a few ideas on what tattoos I would get and where. I would like a Superman tattoo on this shoulder, I would like a Yin Yang tattoo on this shoulder. I want to get my cat Giovanna somewhere on my chest and I want to get a Steelix up my spine. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> TWD Glenn edit. This is something that I actually know. This is something that I actually know. I know TWD The Walking Dead. I never watched it but I know about it. So yeah, sweet. Gothic Primarino. Is she supposed to make me horny? Giovanna edit. I'll show you cute. Aww. Aww, little baby. Look at baby Giovanna. I want to see that. That's so cute. Cute combo attack. Look at baby Giovanna. Th th that was one. There's another one. Oh my god, man. He was so cute when he was a baby. I tried to video chat with my cat and she recognized me. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. My new original character from Owl House. Her name is Penny. She's a part of the Barnum Healing track and her palisman. Emerald is a rhinoceros beetle. Well, what's this for? How'd you sleep last night? Great, I got a full 40 minutes. Solid. Oh, damn! Oh, that looks so good! That is amazing! Hey, yo! Hey, yo, that is so good! Th that's getting an award. I'll give it the silver. I'll give it the silver. Let's go. Nah, bro, I don't care. Gotta catch him. Oh, I made this. It's so good. Good job, Brittany. You're really talented. Keep it up. <laughs> Oh, yo, that's so cool. You want to know what I would love to see in a Pokemon game? I would just absolutely love, like, actually seeing Tinkerton throwing rocks at a Corviknight, and then when you go to the Corviknight and see it, 
you see it's a Tinkerton over there, like, beating it up or something. Like, wouldn't that be cool? Like, seeing Pokemon actually battle each other, not just battling you. That'd be so cool. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Future Echo reading a book. Read books, kids. Let's go. Marvel Legends. Let's go. That is so cool. I love it. That's Quicksilver. I don't know who this is. He looks familiar. Uh, I don't know. That's Steven. Uh, that's Miles Morales' uncle, and that's Miles and Morales. Captain Carter! Like, you see, I don't know Marvel that well, but hey, sweet, sweet, let's go. Something different about Penny that I can't quite put my finger on. <laughs> Look, I feel like Penny was a really compelling character, honestly. Ash is so cute. He is too. Can I, can I order some biscuits, please? I don't know, I didn't really is drawing. Why is everything reminding me of go to that horny jail thing? <laughs> is she supposed to make me horny? Here's my casting for live action Nimona, <laughs> Jenna Ortega. I 100% agree. Let's go. Let's make this happen. Ginger and Ash. Aww. That's adorable. I love it. That's so cute. Pokemon fans criticism of Scarlet and Violet be like, bro, look. All, all the criticism that Scarlet and Violet are getting, it's deserved. I feel like we deserved a much better game, come on. And the rest of these, we already saw in last month's one, so I'll skip all of those. Why don't we go and look at the top posts for this year? Alright, so all of 2022, the top post of the year is the drawing of Giovanna by Brittany. Let's go. Really well deserved. That's absolutely amazing. Good job, Brittany. You captured the essence so well. Absolutely love it. That's so cute. Thank you for drawing that, Brittany. I love it to pieces. Thank you so much. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and then I love how this is still up there. <laughs> when DCE fan put me and Mr. Luke together, that's... <laughs> Oh, good old times, bro. Good old times. <laughs> and then it's Mort Lieber's cat. Aww, and it's a tuxedo as well. Love it to pieces. Salad winning that charity match. That thank you message from when, like, I had less than 100 subscribers. You could actually name every single person that subscribed to me. But this message still stands. Thank you to everyone for being a part of this community. Like, it's, like, met some truly good people and all that. And I hope you guys stay good. Staying in the community is one thing, but, like, bro, don't be dickheads. That's all I ask. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. And this post, very well deserved for the community that we got. This is what I got absolutely smacked on that chess game by Salad. <laughs> Meet LeBronx. <laughs> Love it. This is one of the most up and stuff. Absolutely love it. Well deserved, mate. Well deserved. <laughs> More Ash picks. Let's go. I love how many cats and animals there just are in the top posts. Like, that's so cool. Hey, Danny's Blood Moon pick is up there as well. Solid work, Danny. Solid work. Aurelius edit. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and another edit for me. Absolutely love it. This is so good. That's so good. Love it. My interpretation of Aurelius's YouTube icon. Ha, huh, I wonder how long my icon is gonna last. <laughs> getting 69 subs. <laughs> how many subs is Danny on now? Wait, I wanna see. 370 subs. Good job, girl. Good job. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. End of an era. I, I love it. Looks beautiful, though. It looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Pokemon is a kid's game. Kneel down for me. My most. <laughs> Hey, I have a letter, but I'll keep the letter open. Cinder me on the other boca. Your favorite Cinderace sweaters back. That was literally just posted ten days ago. Nice work, Danny. You already made it to some of the top posts. I love this one. I drew Aurelius, Danny, and Fatalis. Like me and Danny look cool, but like Fatalis is look. He looks like he's on another level, bro. Like you did a job on Fatalis. Let's go, man. Meanwhile, in Animal Crossing, there's some sort of dirty ritual going on here. Come on, four guys customs win. Let's go, let's go. GGs, big GGs. You like? Ooh. I feel like you were just about to die, but like, GG's man, good job. Which version do you choose now? Well, I chose Scarlet, but if I can go back in time, I choose neither. Seems accurate, she does exactly what I do, but slightly more PG. <laughs> look, look, Danny's the angel, I'm the devil. Apparently that's how it goes. My cat, aw, Ginger. 666 subs. 666 subs, oh damn, bruh. 
damn, the devil's number, what even? I wonder how much I'm on now, actually. 833, let's go, man, let's go. Ah, uh, and that old room where it all started. Ah, oh, turn a dial, that's adorable, love it. Nice work, Brittany. Me and my future shiny Solosis, let's go. Oh, yo, you remember this? Hey, yo, Mr. Lisp did a hell of a job on this, I love this, this is... Mr. Lisp, thank you so much for making this. This is absolutely bloody amazing. Love it. Lo love this to pieces. This is a time on Frog Island fan art. So like, hey yo, Mr. Lisp, thank you so much. Absolutely love it. And I'll leave it on this one. 100 subs special when I had Mr. Luke and Chris Crucial come in for an interview. That was absolutely amazing. My first ever collab. <laughs> but yeah, what a year. Alright everyone, that concludes it for this month's Reddit and this year's Reddit. Thank you to everyone who's been taking part in the Reddit this year. Thank you to everyone who's just showing support to me and the broader community as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. Again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to absolutely everyone who posted on the Reddit. Appreciate you guys to pieces. I wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you so much. But that concludes it. I will see you guys in 2023. Take care everyone. See ya.